Out of all the quarterbacks that have been discussed in the combine, one that is very peculiar and very much a question mark is JJ McCarthy, Michigan quarterback. And coming off a championship, a national championship, he still has a lot of questions that need to be answered. Is he NFL ready? Is he going to be a franchise quarterback? We'll go into that in today's video. What's up guys? Welcome back to So Back Sports and I'm so back with another video and I want to talk about JJ McCarthy from the standpoint of based on what he did at the combine is it enough information in addition to his career stats at Michigan that he will be successful on the in, in any of the top teams that is selects him and you know he's very very interesting in terms of like stat wise because he's not the most explosive quarterback he's not the worst quarterback either he's just somewhere in the middle but it's not like dead on in the middle of those two extremes but more like above average and i will go more into that and in terms of his score breakdown in the combine he was rated a total score of an 84 which ranks fourth out of the potential six quarterbacks that are taken in this upcoming draft and you know not the best because you're going up against like what caleb williams drake may uh michael Penix jr etc etc like you have a bunch of comp that you have to go against and listen he's not the most athletic quarterback like majority of his strengths include like adequate ability to locate throwing in windows most of his weaknesses are like his average escapability uh deep balls can be very mistimed and can be a little late and leading towards potential contests on the ball and the modest arm too because he has a different unique mechanics when it comes to his windup and overall he seems like an average quarterback on paper but what a lot of teams are looking at and in terms of what he did in college is that he was able to do enough to win games and that's very important when it comes to the nfl because you know you can have all the talent in the world you can have all the intangibles and whatnot but are you able to make the play that matters the most like this is completely like in the realm of a good comparison in terms of tom brady i'm not saying listen before you all get into the comments and he's comparing jj mccarthy to tom brady. no i am not comparing them to, i'm saying situations are very similar but obviously tom brady got taken later on in the draft in the last pick as a quarterback but i'm saying in terms of being in a michigan program having jim harbaugh who keep in mind was an nfl quarterback sorry excuse me well yeah he was an nfl quarterback and an nfl head coach as well that came to the college football scene and keep in mind now jj mccarthy has plenty of experience working under a pro style passing scheme and that's one of his complete strengths that caleb williams doesn't have who probably michael Penix doesn't have like like they don't have that opportunity to have a coach in jim harbaugh coach in that scene early on in your career obviously that doesn't mean that it's going to translate but it's a good indicator of what is to come in the nfl and yes he is not the most athletic three six point eight two seconds in the three cone drill and a 20 yard shuttle 20 yard shuttle was 4.23 seconds and an overall production score was ranked fifth but athleticism score was ranked first which is a 90 which listen he may not be the most like as seen as athletic but he's based on the combine ranking he has that ability still and in terms of a prospect grade he's gotten a 6.39 which means like which estimates that he will be a plus starter going into the nfl and yeah i mean you gotta think about it this way too like in michigan every single season he has improved like from when he officially started when in 2021 to 2022 there was a huge gap in his production and he had 22 touchdowns in 2022 and 22 touchdowns in 2023 not insane stats but 
the interception marks are very low obviously it's because he handed the ball off a lot but that's because that's the scheme like these traits depending on where he goes will be developed i think that he has the potential to learn very fast in terms of when he gets developed in the nfl he'll be able to learn grasp an offense really quickly compared to most rookie quarterbacks and that's a very underrated skill and something that teams probably gloss over because of you know where he comes from what he like did in college you know it's 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 bound to happen and you know he's gonna go under the radar but most people's draft boards he's actually climbing and for very good reason he's showing that he can be a pretty solid prospect going forward in the quarterback position and i'm not saying that he should be top three because you know caleb williams Jaden daniels and drake may swap between the two and then the list goes on right after but you know his experience should be taken note and he's what still 24 years old i think let me double check yeah he's like i'm, I'm not really sure but like anyways yeah he's 24 years old and he's still pretty young relatively so you can obviously develop i feel like he will be able to learn given that he already has that experience and he'll be fine Anyways, what do you guys think down in the comments below? I would love to read what you guys have to think. Do you think JJ McCarthy should deserve to go high? Let me know it in the comments. I would love to read it. And let me know if you have any other quarterbacks or any uh, players you in the draft you want me to cover. I would love to appreciate the help as well. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.